What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be installing a dishwasher here in my kitchen. I'm just doing this so you can see how easy it is to do yourself. You don't need to hire somebody to do this. You can do it yourself. We're going to go through all the steps today and get it done. Alright, stay tuned. So before you do any appliance ins installation, the first thing you want to do is make sure that the circuit breaker is turned off. I've already removed my old dishwasher. I've confirmed that the, there's no power coming through these cords. Uh, I've turned off the water to the dishwasher underneath the sink, the hot water supply, and made sure that um, you know everything is ready for the new installation. So with this particular dishwasher, it does come with a protective sticker that goes underneath your cabinet. So that's our step one with this dishwasher, is to put this protective sticker underneath the cabinet. Um, this is basically because the door opens during the drying cycle and lets out all the steam and everything. So this sticker is used to make sure that underneath your cabinet doesn't have any water damage. So let's get this on. All right, the next piece of the installation, you're gonna need one of these dishwasher insulation kits. It comes with the hot water supply line hose and uh, the way to connect it to the dishwasher. So you need to get this, and then I'll show you how to connect this all up. All right, now we need to remove the seal from this 90 degree connector here. And you take this whole assembly apart just like that. Then our next step here is to take the nut connector that came on the dishwasher where the water is supposed to connect to. And we want to take that out carefully to make sure you don't damage it. Then you want to take your 90 degree fitting. And the seal goes on this part. that goes on there just like that and this is what's going to connect onto your dishwasher one thing to note on this seal here there is a smaller side and a bigger side you want to make sure that the smaller side is towards that 90 degree fitting okay so our next step here is to install this 90 degree valve inlet that we've built on the back of the dishwasher right here Just make sure you don't cross thread it. And this just needs to be hand tightened. Just like that. Now there's a junction box on the right front of the dishwasher right there that I have to remove and install a strain relief there. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now we're going to put our strain relief in. There we go. Okay, now our next step here is to add the installation brackets. Just like that. Alright, so your next step is going to be to level the dishwasher. This is typically done by taking a small level, putting it up against the top edge of the dishwasher here, and just making sure that it's level. If it's not, there's adjustments at all four of the feet. You can either twist them counterclockwise or clockwise to bring them out or in um, to make sure your dishwasher is level. I've already done that. It's all level, so let's move on to the next step. One more note, when you're leveling your dishwasher, you want to make sure that it's not only level 
this way uh, in the front, but it's also level from front to back too. So you're going to need to place a level here and a level here to make sure that it's level all the way around. Okay, next we just need to disconnect our old hot water supply line because it's plastic. And these new ones recommend that you use the stainless steel braided line, so we're just going to change that out. And here I am connecting the drain hose from the dishwasher to the garbage disposal underneath the sink. There's really nothing to this part, just make sure that you connect it and use a clamp. Okay, now we're good. We can tap into the, or plug in the hot water supply line. Okay, now at this point, I've turned on the hot water, and I've checked here to make sure that there's no leaks, and I've also checked underneath the sink where I connected the, the hot water hose to make sure there are no leaks. It's been sitting like this for about three minutes. I'm not seeing any leaking, so we should be good to go. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, now we just need to slide everything back into the space for the dishwasher. If you notice here, there is a channel for the power cord to actually run through, so we're going to make sure that that runs through that channel as we push it back, and just make sure that all the lines and everything don't get kinked. So let's go ahead and do that. Right, let's get this all split into place. And remember the key here is making sure that nothing gets kinked as you're sliding it all back. power cord here, we want to make sure it's running through the channel like it's supposed to. Now, after the CC dishwasher is pushed in, we want to secure it to the cabinet up top. You can also secure it directly to your cabinet here. There are some holes here that you can screw the screws directly into your cabinet and then you put these little pieces on like that so it secures it to the side. So you got those and then you have the ones on the top there. Just like that. Okay, our last step here is connecting the power. First thing I did was run the power cord up through the strain relief, tightened it up, uh, Pulled the wires out of the sheathing. Now I just need to, need to strip them so I can connect them. 
You just need to connect white to white, black to black, and ground to ground, and you'll be in business. Nice and easy. Strip these. Here we are, all of our wires are connected, now we can put the cover on the box. Alright, here we go, we've got everything in the junction box, we got the cover on, now let's test it out. Alright, so let's flip this breaker back on, see what we got. Okay, so let's test this out, see if we have some power. There we go, so it turns on, um, let's do a cycle start. Okay, now it's running, these new dishwashers are actually really quiet, you can barely even hear them. We'll just let it run for a little bit and make sure there's no leaks. Alright, our last step was just installing the kick plate at the very bottom, it's really easy, just put it up there, put in the two screws on each side. Uh, I did run it through a cycle briefly to test to make sure that there wasn't any leaks, there was no water coming out of the bottom, and to make sure that it drained correctly and that there was no leaks when it was draining. Everything appears to be functioning pretty well. Um, so, see how easy it is to install it. You don't need to hire somebody. You can definitely do this yourself. It took me about an hour because I was recording a video and uh, you know making sure I was doing everything right. It was my first time ever installing a dishwasher. But honestly, on a scale of 10, it's maybe about a 3, 3.5. You can do this yourself. So that's how you do it. If you get a new dishwasher, install it yourself. We look forward to getting all these dishes out of here, running through the dishwasher, and seeing how it treats us. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching it to the end. Make sure you subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.